Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Suplex Network here, coming back at you again for another video, and today we are making a tier list on every single Elite action figure that has been released in 2021 so far. Now, we're up to Elite 85 of the series with like Karrion Cross and The Undertaker, but we're starting with Elite 81. I don't know if it was released last year, but it's on the fence. We'll, content we'll count it as this year, so let's have a look. So we've got the list of God Tier buy this pretty good meh and trash you know the drill trash is just trash god is the best you know so we're just going to work our way through this list so up first we've got elite 85 live morgan you see it's hard to see on camera on the screen the figure but i'd say it's pretty good but it's not like i need to buy that figure i'm gonna leave it in the pretty good at the moment, you know, it doesn't stand out to me personally, but yeah, it's not horrible, it's not bad at all. And then there's Becky Lynch, I mean, Money in the Bank briefcase, women's title, some cool accessories, it's a, it's an alright figure, but again, it doesn't do anything for me, like, maybe it's the women's figures that I'm not a fan of personally, but like, it's pretty good, but it's not great. And then the Buddy Murphy, now this is controversial, but... I don't like that they're using this same head scan yet again. I wish they'd think of something else to have put on there first. And then it's, it's outdated again now. He's gone back to those shorts. And, you know, it's weird that we got an Elite Buddy Murphy disciple before we got Elite Messiah Seth Rollins. So, for me, this is just a meh for me. You know, I love Buddy Murphy, but it's not horrible, but meh. It's, it doesn't deserve to go any higher than that. And then we got Alistair Black again. I don't know if this is the chase or the actual version, but there's two of them. They're pretty... They're the same as every other Alistair Black figure, really. So, I'm going to put him... Ooh, pretty good on me. It's not a bad figure, but him and the chase, because, I mean, they're like the same figure. Can't really tell a difference. When I'm looking at them, they look the same. Like, what's going on there? And then we've got, ooh, Elite 85 Undertaker now. This is based off the WrestleMania match against AJ, the um, Boneyard match. So this figure, it's loaded with sick accessories. It looks awesome. So this God tier, this is just God tier, that Undertaker figure. Carrion Cross, his first figure, and it's an Elite. The head scan, the crazy eyes, the head, I love the head. But, I mean, it's pretty basic. There's not much to it. But, of course, I'm going to buy this. It's going in the buy this tier. It's just not It's not God because it's too basic to be a God, but it's above pretty good. So, we'll put it in buy this. And then there's Bray Wyatt. Now, come on. You're going in the bin. You are trash. W when did he ever wear orange pants? Like, what is that? The Huskus. Huskus deserves to be, like, buy this. But, come on, bro. Bro. What is that orange pants, you know? Uh, I don't know. Then we've got a May Young Collector's Edition that came out. Haven't seen much about this. Haven't seen it, like, really anywhere. I don't see many people saying anything about this. It is it is what it is. It's pretty good. I personally, if I found that in the store, the trophy's kind of cool, I would put that in by this. It's not horrible. It's pretty good. I'm a fan of it. Then we've got regular Keith Lee. Now that is a banger. That slaps. That slaps. That's going in by this. Not quite God. It is by this. Elite 84 Dusty Rhodes. Ooh, that's a... I mean, I've got the Legend Series 1, which is just perfect. So this one, it's not horrible. I like, I'm a, f a fan of the head scan. I'm going to put it in the buy this. It's pretty good. I like that. The Baron Corbin, King Corbin. A lot of people have had problems with this figure. It's just snapping in half. So, if it wasn't for that, I would have had this figure in buy this. But because of that, it's going in the meh. Because it's not trash. It looks alright, but it just breaks. It just breaks. What's going on there? Alexa Bliss. Now, this... Buy this. I bought it. It's The belt's sick. The figure itself is sick. Oh, the head scan looks exactly like it. It's pretty good for a women's figure. That's not sexist. They just they just don't appeal to me. These figures because they're just smaller. 
they're fragile, the joints don't move as nice, so it's hard to do stop motions with. So I just try to stay away from them because they're just they're just super hard to stop motion with. Rob Gronkowski, this is a sleeper figure, you know. A lot of people have been given this bit of flack, but like, come on, a Gronk figure? It's pretty good, the head's a bit, yeah. But besides that, it's decent. I'm gonna, meh, it's meh. Alright, I just counter, I just contradicted myself by putting it in meh, but I mean, it's not trash, we'll put it in that. Then this rock, I mean, it does nothing for me, it's trash. This stunning Steve, again, it does nothing for me, it's like, they did a stunning Steve gimmick when he's doing, yeah, I don't know. It's meh for me, only because of the title, if it wasn't for the belt, I don't know. Then we've got the Chase and the regular Shinsuke, personally, I did not like this figure at all when they released images, but once I had it in hand, I'm like, this is actually, this is alright. So the blue one goes in by this. It was a pretty cool figure, but the black one is pretty good. I prefer the blue a lot better than the black, but came with that IC title, so pretty good, pretty good. Bianca Belair, now this, ooh, I regret not picking this up. It looks sick, so... Again, yeah, women's figures, the joints aren't as great to animate with, but this bank, Bianca Belair, is awesome. It's going in by this. We've got a lot in that by this category, which is a bit of a worry. And, oh, man, here we go. Elite 83. 3? Yeah, 3. Edge, God tier. That's just, there's not much I need to say. That is... Just look at the head scan, look at the shirt, look at the attire, both, where's the other one? There's a chase in here somewhere. Both of them are just god tier. They are both sick looking figures. They deserve to be in that god tier. We've got a Drew McIntyre. I mean, they're all just, they're just spewing out these Drew McIntyre elites. They all do the same for me, so you know, you can go in the mare. Keith Lee Chase, now this is better than the buy this one, so it's got to go in the god tier. The Chase. Chase Keith Lee, bit of a bit of a color, bit of a better of a color than the black attire. So had to bump it up to the god tier. Do like that. Then we got the combo Street Profits. Now these were sick. The, the Angelo Dawkins was a bit beefy, so that kind of knocks it down. But I got to put them in together. So I'm gonna put them in as buy this. They go in the buy this. Where did you ain't god tier boy? You ain't god tier. Get out of there. Finn Balor though, this figure, oh man, best elite Finn Balor so far, he is god tier. Then we got Michael P.S. Hayes, I mean it does nothing for me, goes in the math, pretty bland, that's why it's a collector's edition because there's not really that demand for it. Sasha Banks, I mean, it's trash, like you've gone with a boring attire, trash. This Chase Jeff Hardy and the regular Jeff Hardy, nah. Oof. It's trash. It's trash. It It's nothing that we needed. It was just a different bit of a face paint on there. Nothing too special. It just wasn't anything great for me. Ooh, Rhea Ripley's first Elite, and it is a god tier. It's got that double-jointed elbows. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it does, so that's super excited. I'm going to pick that one up. It is a god tier. This Seamus, this Seamus looks... It's pretty good. We'll put it in pretty good. It's, yeah, the head scan, something looks a little off. It looks like he's wearing makeup or something, so he can go in pretty good. Not super special. Angel Gaza, this was a letdown, you know. I was so looking forward to this. In the pants, they just look goofy as heck. They look like he's Sin Cara wannabe, so he goes in meh. I hate to do it because I really like Angel Gaza, and I want a figure of his, but... I don't know, there's something off about this figure for me. It's just going in the meh. Roman Reigns, your meh. Uh, John Morrison, I was super excited when I'm seeing the images of this. It looked so good, the accessories. And then I got it, and I took the bandana and glasses off, and his hair was just sticking out, and I'm like, nah, that does not look good at all. So it went from being a god tier to it's just pretty good. It really is. The hair really does it for me. He just looks like he's got no neck in the hair. Oh, it was such a letdown seeing that. And then we got the fun too. Davy Boy Smith Collector's Edition. 
I picked this one up and I was gonna keep it in the box and I saw it had a slit down it because when the worker opened the box they slit it and he was sitting on top and he got damaged so I got super pissed at that but the figure does look alright I'd put it in by this because if I saw another one I would buy it and then Jerry the King Lola oh man what a sleeper this figure was so underrated people aren't rating this as high as it should be it's not quite good but it's not pretty good so I'd put it in the higher tier of buy this you know very underrated figure so that's what we've got so far for 2021's elite figures you let me know in the comments down below what you would change from my list what did i do something you didn't agree with were the trash figures was i too harsh too harsh was i too nice with the god figures let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching this video this is suplex network signing off peace